this video is going to show some weighted averages using percents. So as we come across information, we're going to fill it into this little table. So uh, consider a class in which homework is worth 10% of a student's final grade. So that's the weight. So the weight is 10% for homework. And for weights, we always want to write those as percents. Um, the midterm is 25%. Uh, the final exam is 35%, so final exam, make sure you're in the right spot. And tests are worth 30. Now when you're using percents, the weights should always total to 100%. And in this case, they do. So that's good. That's positive. All right. So then we look and it says, Ralph, a student in the class, has an average homework score of 85 and a midterm score of 90, an average test score of 88, and a final exam score of 75. So notice that even though they gave me Ralph's grades as percents, I wrote them in here as just scores. And that's what you want. You only want one column to have percents, and it's always the weights. So when I'm looking at this and I'm trying to find my average, we're going to say, okay, we've got to figure out, and again, I'm going to use the term quality point. How many quality points does he earn for each type of assessment? Well, to figure out homework, we're going to take 85 times the weight, 0.15. We're going to add to that the midterm times the weight, 0.25. We're going to um, add that to the test score of 88 times 0.3, and then the score for the final exam times 0.35. And when you do that, you then get uh, 8.5 plus 22.5 plus 26.4 plus 26.25. So this line here is like the quality points earned from each section. When I add those all together, I get an 83.65, which is the grade Ralph earned in this class, which for most classes I think is like right around a B. So Ralph earned a B in this course based off of these percentages. Number two, Oprah's in a science class where her teacher uses the following grade weights. Okay, so we have labs are 15%. These are the weights. Uh, quizzes are 25%. Uh, midterm exam is 20%. And then the final exam is 40%. So if these are the weights, we now need a spot for her scores. Now you can see for the lab reports, she's got a lot of scores, but I only need one. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start by finding the average. So to find the average, I'm going to add all of these together. And when I add them all up, I get 421, and I divide by the six, uh, six items. So Oprah averaged a 70.17 on her lab reports. For the quizzes, I'm going to add the five quizzes together. I get 402, and I divide by five. She averaged 80.4 on the quizzes. Now you can see midterm, final, there's only one score. So I don't have to really find an average or anything. That one just, it is what it is. So I'm going to multiply each one of these. So 0.15 times 70.17. And I'm going to get a score of 10.5255. Then I'm going to take 0.25 and multiply by 80.4 and get 20.1. Then I'm going to multiply 20% times 79 and get 15.8. And 40% times 64 and I get 25.6. When I add these four items together, I get Oprah's final grade of 72.0255, which I would say is a C. So you do the weights times the category average to get the quality points, add your quality points together, and that gives you your final grade. Number three, at a local high school, 5% of students, well, that's a weight, so 5% of the students are 14 years old. We'll call this a score or whatever. So 5% are 14. 18% are 15. 21% are 16. 22% are 17. 27% are 18. And 7% are 19. Again, the percents should add up to 100, and they do. Um, and so we're ready then to do our calculation. So when I multiply, right, 0 0.05 times 14. So my 14-year-old will yield 0.7, and this, you know, quality points. I multiply the 0.18 times 15 and get 2.7. 21% times 16 is 3.36. The 17 gives us 3.74. 4.86 and 1.33, right, multiplying the column. 
Now, when I add all of these together, I get 16.69, and so the average age is 16.69 years old, right? Somewhere between 14 and 19, and it lies um, somewhere in the middle there. And that, I believe, is the last one on percent. So remember, multiply the percent times the category average to get quality points, add your quality points together, and there is your weighted average.